Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Monday, the 21st of August. Um, I gotta say, uh, really sunny today. Not a bad day. We're pulling a really good power today. But uh, I have to say, I'm disappointed. They're talking this eclipse, we're gonna see like a 70% of the. Th we didn't see squat. Um, it was like no eclipse happened here at all, so it was really weird. So we didn't see it. We were out there looking. Um, the way we did it is you basically took your phone and uh, you turned on your camera and then reversed it. And basically you watched your screen and you could see the sun, but there was no, uh, no, nothing. We didn't really see anything, so it was kind of disappointing. But what are you going to do? So, um... Anyway, so I wanted to talk a couple things real quick before I get into today's video. Uh, I had done the video where they demonetized three of my videos. They did give me monetization back after review on two of the videos. But the one that I did against about the media and uh, how corrupt the whole media system is, that one they didn't give me monetization back on. But that's okay. But I did get it back on the other two. I just thought I would share that with you guys. Uh, I think it's kind of funny, actually. But... What are you going to do? But it's like you got to stay on top of them. But uh, anyway, so um, I wanted to do a video today on burns. Okay. So obviously there's first degree, second degree, and third degree. And then there's actually a fourth degree burn as well. Uh, a fourth degree burn is basically you're going all the way down to the bone. That is a really, really severe burn. Okay. So uh, basically what I wanted to talk about, a couple things right off the bat. As part of your preps, you should have a burn kit, okay? I think it's really, really important to have a burn kit um, just because of the fact is if you're going to be dealing with a severe burn, you know, in a post-event, if you will, you really want to be able to have the right stuff to be able to treat that properly, okay? So we're going to talk about the different burns here. So let me, uh, basically, now how do we get burned, okay? There's really three, or three, there's five different ways that you can get burned. Let's see, one, two, three, I'm sorry, four different ways you can get burned, okay? You get burnt with heat, okay? That's generally how most of us get burned. Um, anybody that has a wood stove, if you haven't burned yourself on a wood stove, you're not doing it right. That's realistically, I've burned myself every year, uh, five, probably six times on my wood stove. Happens every year, okay? Uh, next one would be chemicals, then radiation, and electricity. Those are the four ways that you're going to get a burn. The most common, obviously, is going to be, you know, a heat burn, okay? That's the most common way people burn themselves. So there's three different, the main three ways of, of degrees of burns. A first degree uh, burn is basically you're looking at, like, an, in an area, it's just redness, and it's going to hurt really bad, okay? So, um, you know, basically from uh, touching a pan, or, uh, you know, grabbing onto a, a pan that's, that's hot, you're not realizing that it's hot. Or, you know, that momentarily touch on that wood stove and you're going to end up with at least a first degree burn. That presents itself as a reddened area. The best way to treat that is you want to run your arm or your whatever is burned under cold water for like 10 minutes. That's going to help draw that heat out of that burn to help it so that it doesn't hurt as much. Because anybody that's like burned themselves... Um, like on a finger or something like that, and you put your hand under that cold water for just a couple of minutes, like for a minute, minute and a half, and then you pull it out. By the time you're walking across your kitchen or whatever, it starts to hurt again. If you keep that under there for like 10 minutes, that's really going to help lessen the severity of that burn, okay? Now, just uh, one tip that I did want to give you guys as far as like, especially with first degree burns, um, you can actually even use it with second degree burns as well. First and second degree burns it works really, really well. Lavender oil. And you want to get the, the oil. The, um, you can make sure it's, you know, lavender oil. Put that over the top of that burn. And then, you know, as soon as it starts to hurt again, reapply again. And you can do that, you know, 10, 15 times if you have to. That's really going to help um, with your burns. So that's just a side tip. That's not, you know, in the medical manuals, if you will. But... Um, it's been proven that lavender oil really, really helps with burns, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you guys. 
with a second degree burn, you're looking at the reddened area, but also with blisters, okay? Now, the, the one key thing I wanted to share with you is don't pop the blisters. Because what that is, is that it's the liquid coming in there to try to uh, help heal the area. So when you have a burn, you're going to have the liquid in your body is going to go to that spot to help try to fight that. Because anytime you're going to have a burn, and if you end up having an open burn, uh, it's a pathway for infection. And infection is obviously not what you want to have. So, um, again, how do you want to treat that second degree burn? You're going to, like I said, you're going to want to run that under hot water as well. Um, again, you can use lavender oil with that as well, okay? And I'm going to get to um, a burn kit and what you should have, you know, with a burn kit that you can... I wouldn't suggest this with a first degree burn, but like with a second degree burn and a third degree burn for sure, okay? Now with a third degree burn, you're looking um, at, uh, it's going to be white or brown, uh, little or no pain um, with a second and a fourth degree burn. You're not you're not going to really feel the pain because it's so deep the burn is that it's basically killed all those nerve endings. Okay, uh, you're going to have like a charring look on the burn, and um, so you want to make sure that uh, one of the first things if you if you come on somebody and they have a burn, you're going to like say on their arm. We're just going to go with the arm for right now. You're going to want to remove that jewelry. Get the jewelry off their arm. If they have a, a shirt on, you don't want to yank the shirt off, okay? Because you're going to end up hurting them even more. If you have to, you cut around it and you try to get off. Anything that's like stuck or like welded into the burn, just leave that there. Don't even try to take that off, okay? That's real important. Um, so, and uh, the other thing um, I, I wanted to share too, like if, if, let's say if it's a chemical burn and you've burned your arm, you're going to want to put your arm down and have that slush off that way. Or if you have it, um, like you've got chemicals in like this, let's say you got chemicals in this eye. You're not going to want to go this way when you're trying to flush that eye out because you don't want to get it into the other eye. You want to keep your head, you know, tilted the other way so that the water, when it runs out, is running out in a way so that it's, you know, of the affected eye. So that's, that's important to know as well, okay? Um, so... One of the things you want to make sure that you do not do is, like, if you're going to cover that wound, you're not going to want to use a, a cotton or a linen on that because what happens is that's going to fuse into uh, um, the wound itself. And then, like, once you go to the hospital with that burn, they got to pull that out and they got to dig out all that extra cotton and stuff out of your skin, which is going to cause you more scarring. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, you, you don't want to have that. Now, when you have a burn kit... What a lot of burn kits have is they have what's called a gel dressing, okay? It's a pre-treated dressing, so when you open it up, it's already wet and it's cold. You're going to put that over the affected area, okay? Or, um, you know, so once you put that on there, then uh, it's going to help, like I said, automatically start with the cold sucking up that heat and getting the heat away to try to lessen the pain. Now, let's say you don't have a gel dressing, um or you don't have a, a burn kit and you don't have that gel dressing. Another thing that you can do, because you want to try to wrap that burn up so that you got less chance of uh, an infection, you can use like a plastic wrap. Like we all have the stuff that you put over the top of your bowls or your fruit or whatever. Um, some people use aluminum foil. Some people use that plastic wrap. The plastic wrap is what you want to use. You can take that plastic wrap, wrap it all the way around the wound, okay, and then you can still run that wound under cold water even with the plastic wrap on there now like i said if you have you know on, on, like a burn on your arm or whatnot or you know wherever that burn is you want to if you use plastic wrap on that they can easily take that off that's not going to stick to the wound once you get to the hospital now here's an important thing too let's say you've burned your hand okay the last thing you want to do is put those fingers together you know you don't you don't want to get the fingers together you want to try to keep the fingers apart because they will fuse together because if they're all burnt. So if you can keep the fingers apart, even taking that uh, the plastic wrap and wrapping the individual fingers, okay, you can do it that way, and then you wrap the hand as well. That way, like I said, you want to try to keep that that way if you can. It's going to help with that immensely, okay? Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I wanted to go over with you guys. Okay, another thing. Now, a lot of times, like say there was a fire, okay, and you've burnt yourself. Our normal reaction is, ah! 
Now you could possibly doing that, you're going to suck in that hot air and you're going to cause possibly burns and stuff like that in your throat, in your mouth, um, down into your lungs. So that's also something to keep an eye on and look for that if it's, a, you know, um, like in a fire situation. Because that shock, our initial reaction is to suck in. And so you could possibly be sucking, or, or it could be also chemicals. You suck those chemicals into your mouth and into your lungs and stuff too. That's very, very dangerous. Now, um, the biggest thing is if you have a burn that is like the size of my hand, you want to make sure, or basically more than three inches is, is kind of the rule of thumb. You want to go get medical treatment for that. That's really, really important, okay? Um, the person can go into shock. You may have to lay that person down to treat them while you're treating those burns, okay? Depending on how much how, or how badly they're burned. Uh, burns are no joke, guys. Um, it's something that's, you know, it can affect you. Uh, you could get an infection, you know. So seeking medical attention is always a smart thing to do. Um, second degree burns, I would actually say go definitely go and get that checked out depending on the severity of the burn. I mean, if it's a small spot, we've all had those, no big deal. You deal with it, you treat it, and you go on. But when you're talking about a larger area, like at least like the size of your hand, you need to get to the hospital and get professionals to take care of that. But any kind of early intervention that you can do to help with that, um, taking an ibuprofen or whatever is going to help with the pain from a first and second degree burn. You know, even, you know, that's going to help a little bit with a third degree and a fourth degree burn as well. Fourth degree burn, like I said, is really the worst one. That's going all the way down right to the bone. And, uh, you know, that's, those are bad. Those are bad. Some people don't live through those, okay? So anytime you have, like, a burn to the face, um, the hands, the feet, those are ones you definitely want to get to the hospital. They're more important to get to the hospital to help get that treatment, okay? Remember, the plastic wrap, do not wrap your hand or whatever it is in cotton. Um, if you have the gel dressing, it's the best way to go. Having a burn kit, and I've, and I've said this in the beginning of the video, I'm going to say it again now. Having a burn kit is really, really important part of your press, especially if you're a prepper, you live off grid, um, you're working with, you know, like we heat with wood. So having a burn kit is very, very important to have, okay? So wanted to share this with you guys. I hope this helps. Um, like I said, it's just, you know, some information sharing. Um, and, and again, like I said, you know, just be smart. And if something happens, deal with it accordingly. Seek that professional help if you can. If it's a worst case scenario, try to do the best you can to relieve that person's pain. Um, and again, having, having um, you know, a burn kit, again, really, really important. Um, you know, flushing that wound out and getting it cleaned up as much as you possibly can. That's really important as well. So I hope this helps. Um, obviously today's a Medical Monday video, and so I wanted to get back onto that. And I'm trying to stick right away with like more pertinent things with you guys, something that we're going to have happen on a regular basis. So I will get into other things later, That, uh, but I wanted to really kind of go over, like I said, I did hypothermia, hypothermia, and now I wanted to do burns today. So more things that are apt to happen on an everyday basis, even in a normal you know, world without anything happening. So I hope this helps. Um, like, comment, share. Um, if you like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I think we're going to, I have to do, um, I, well, I'll discuss that in another video. But um, anyway, so that's the video for today. I hope that helps. Remember, guys, get your lavender oil. Real, real important to have. It really, really helps treat burns. And that's just a little side tip. So I hope everybody has a great day. Remember, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. Whatever your goals are, you can reach them. The only one that's going to stop you is you. Oh, yesterday we pulled in 4.6 kilowatt hours on the day. Um, the last time I looked, and it's still sunny out, it's about 3.30 now. We had pulled in uh, 3, 3, 6, or 3, 7 so far today. So we should be pretty decent by the end of the day. So anyway, guys, listen, have a great day, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse went out for now.